I got a no start problem on my truck and it is very cold and windy out. This happened at one of the places I deliver to and uh, another driver pulled me out of that, that bay over there and drug me over here. The truck just uh, starting and stopping just fine. I mean, uh, shutting off and starting like it's supposed to all the time. And then on my last uh, delivery inside that bay, didn't want to start up. Not the starter. The starter spins over, but the motor wouldn't fire up. And so, um, talking to some people, they're telling me it's probably the, uh, the TRS, the timing reference sensor. And, uh, and there's another one that's, that's um, I forgot what it's called. I'll try to get that on this video. The timing reference sensor is underneath, and I'm gonna get a camera on that in just a second, but right here, behind the, the air compressor, right under the timing covers there, there is a, uh, a sensor right there. I got the flashlight on it, and it, uh, and it goes in. Sorry about the focus. But the wires plugged in on top of it and that's the the wire plugs in there and then the sensor uh goes in towards the left into the uh, timing housing there that is the one i'm going to try to change second the first one i'm going to change is underneath let me get under here goes into the side of the motor instead of into the timing cover and it's full of grease and it's right there where I got the light you see that that wire that, that covering for the wire corrugated stuff okay that's that's that one a little 13 millimeter socket or wrench whatever you got to uh, go on there this brand new phone I don't like the camera on it yet sure I will once I get used to it. It wasn't letting me stretch the picture out there. Okay, that's the other sensor there. That's the TRS. That's what I'm going to change first. Now, the head mechanic at Freightliner, he's a service rider now, but uh, anyway, he told me to be very careful working with that. Uh, if it doesn't want to come out, don't force it. Just keep working it and moving it because it's plastic. It'll break. And then I'll end up having to take the oil pan off and go up inside there with some tools and try to push it back out from the inside. So I don't want to do that. I got my little pickup sitting here running right next to the side of the truck. I brought some tools with me. It's going to be awful cold doing this. It's, it's like a 20 mile an hour wind out here and it's like 30 degrees and uh, wind chills down around 20 degrees, so it's, it's bitter cold. Well, it's coming out. I got the, pulled the wire off of there, took the screw out, and I started twisting it. I'm glad there's an oil leak on there because that, that uh, uh, guy at, at uh, Freightliner, service rider, used to be the me head mechanic. He told me be very careful. The thing is plastic and it's brittle and the uh, dirt and rust will get in there in front of the O-ring and you can't, uh, you know, you, got, you can't fight this thing. But this is twisting and coming out with my fingers. So naturally I can't get it all on video, just one piece at a time. But as you see, it's, it's out about three quarters of an inch and uh, it'll come right on out now. Well, there's the two new sensors. The uh, one on the left is the one, looks like the one I just pulled out. And uh, show you the prices on these things. They're about a hundred bucks a piece. I ended up paying $230 to get out of the store with them. There they are, side by side. They do have a magnet inside of them. Uh, and that's how they work. I guess it's like a lot of sensors have a magnet inside of them. There's a coil of wire in there 
and anything that pulls on that magnetic field is going to cause the magnetic field to move inside that coil of wire. It sends a, a small electrical signal to the computer. Okay, I got that switch changed out. Let's see if that was it. If not, then I got to change the other one. It's harder to get to behind the compressor. Well, I guess we got to change the other one. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Well, that's music to my ears. This buzzer's not going to shut off till we fill up with air. When it's, when it's cold out, this truck leaks all the air.